Lou Edwards. For the international participants, to be a part of World Expo 88, the only international exposition of the Southern Hemisphere in the 20th century, has been a unique experience. And it has also been a very special way to join in your bicentennial celebrations. The Australians have certainly replied in kind, as at the end of the day, it has been the tremendous response of the Australian public what has made possible the success of this exposition and worthwhile our participation. Allow me on a personal note to encourage everybody to revive the experience in Spain in the Universal Exposition of Seville 1992. I'm sure you will not be deluded. On behalf of the international participants at World Expo at Brisbane, I would like to say thank you, Australia, and goodbye. Nothing can really succeed without community support. When the Australian community takes, shakes off its prejudices, born of colonial origins, and adopts an event as truly Australians, its support is universal and wholehearted. Rubbing shoulders with the rest of the world has caused us to look outwards, to assess more closely our true place in the international forum. Hopefully, through Expo 88, we have acquired just a little more of the virtue of humility. We, in this God's own country, owe so much to so many. Thank you all for being a part of our history, for helping us on our way. Thank you very much. The critics of Expo have been trampled by the, and this is the official number, 18.3 million pairs of feet. Eighteen point three million people that marched through the Expo gates. You might say, Expo put the queue back into Queensland. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's not mourn the passing of Expo today. Let's celebrate the discovery of the real Queensland. <laughs>